Hi, this is a Fourscore tutorial on how to create and use set lists. Set lists give you a way to create a set of scores and put them in a particular order for a particular purpose. So, for example, they come in handy if you are creating different set lists for different ensembles that you perform with, or different concert programs that you're working on, or any kind of purpose where you need to pull together a, a list of scores. And they are also a convenient way to be able to package and share scores with um, share a, a list of scores with other four score users. And I have a separate tutorial on set list sharing on my YouTube channel, but I'll just touch briefly on that during this tutorial. So to access set lists, first you'll go into the music library menu. So that's up here. And then at the top you'll see between the various buttons there's one for set list. And then to create a new set list, tap the plus sign on the top left corner. So let's give that a name. And now you can add scores to your set list. And if you tap on add scores, that brings you to a window that's very similar to the way that your music library menu is organized where you can um, you can browse or search for the scores by these different criteria listed up at the top and you can also search for the scores by pulling down the search window here so let me browse by composer and add a few scores So one handy thing about the setlist creator is that it has a button that lets you add the score that you're currently viewing. So for example here, I can tap the button on the top right corner and that will add the score that I was just looking at. Let's add a few more scores here. Note that for some of these views, you have an Add All button in the top right corner that lets you add all of the scores that are shown in that particular listing. And you can also select multiple scores just by tapping on them, and you'll see the check mark next to them and the Add Checked button to the top right. But I'm just going to add the intermission placeholder file, file which is a handy thing to have if you're putting together a set list for a concert program. And if you'd like a link to that intermission placeholder file, I'll put that in the description section of the YouTube page for this video. And let's uh, add a bookmark to this set list, and I'll show you how that works. So to pull up a quick example of a piece that has bookmarks in it, so... This is a multi-movement piece, and I have used the bookmarks feature to split it into its separate movements with the bookmarks. And so I can add just one of these to the set list if I like. Now, if you'd like to be able to add bookmarks to your set list, you'll need to have a certain setting enabled. And that's here under Metadata, called Score Menu Includes Bookmarks. You'll want to have that on, so that the Score Menu will display bookmarks and you can browse and select them when you're creating your set list. So now that we have a basic example of a set list, I can show you what you can do with them. To change the order of items in the set list, you can tap the edit button on the top right, and you'll get these drag handles on the right that you can use to move things around. And also when you're in edit mode, you can, um, you can delete things, You can edit the metadata for a piece in your set list. And then you can replace pieces in your set list. And this is a convenient way to swap things in and out of your set list. So let's change this for a different movement of the same piece. And 
And there are also some different options for being able to view the order of the set list. There's the manual order, looking at the buttons on the top of the bar. There's a manual order, which is the order that you define using these drag handles. But you also have some other options for sorting the list. There's sorted, which is sorted by alphabetical, by the title. There is fresh, which what this does is it lists the scores that you have viewed the most recently at the bottom. So as you use different scores in the set list, the ones that you've seen the most lately will move to the bottom. And then shuffle option is a kind of interesting one. This basically uh, randomizes the order of the items in the set list. So what you do is you pull down the set list until the shuffle icon shows up. And then you let it go. But you won't actually see the items be resorted until you tap one of the scores in the set list. Now if I go back into the set list, in theory I should see the order of the items change. I'm not sure if that's going to happen this time around because there's so few items in the set list, but that's what the shuffle option is for. And one more thing that I'll point out about the window that shows the set list contents is that you can pull down on the list to reveal the search window, and then if you have a lot of items in your set list, you can just use search to find them instead. So let's go back to the main list of all of the set lists and see what we can do there. So you can tap the button on the top right to be able to change the order of the set lists. So my new set list is down here at the bottom, and I want to move it up to the very top of this list. And from here you can also select set lists and duplicate them. So after duplicating, I just have a new one called Choir Concert 2 down here at the bottom. You can um, also select and delete the set list. Another way to do that is to swipe on uh, the name and then tap the delete button. And then you also have the capability of renaming the set list. And then this email option here lets you export and share the set list via email. And it gives you a few different options here. I'm not going to go into detail with these because there's already another YouTube tutorial that covers this, but that's just something to be aware of there. And the other YouTube tutorial on set list sharing has all the details about what these different options mean. So let's take a quick look at how you can upload and import set lists using Dropbox. So you can access that from the menu bar here under the toolbox and underneath the add scores section Dropbox. And if you tap on the upload button, that's the main way that you can um, export set lists into, into your Dropbox account. And to be able to find individual set lists, you'll need to scroll all the way down to the bottom that's where they're listed, right above this list of backups. And you'll be presented with a number of options for uploading, exporting and uploading your set list. And those are explained in more detail in the set list sharing tutorial, as is the set list button that's up here near the top of this window. And finally, let's cover a few of the settings that are relevant to set lists. So we already talked about the score menu includes bookmarks, one for being able to add bookmarks to your set lists. And you also want to be aware of the flip between scores option, which is underneath interface. And there are a few different options for this and what this lets you do is um, after you reach the end of the of a score it lets you advance to the next score when you're just doing regular page turns and so probably if you are 
uh, if you're using a set list for a concert, for example, then you probably want to have this set to either all or set list so that you can just flip through all of the scores in the concert order of your set list. But if you're using your set list for some other purpose, then you might want to select off for this option. And then finally, if you need more information about set lists, you can go to the four score manual. And there is a whole section about it right here. And that is it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my YouTube channel for more Fourscore tutorials and tutorials on other music and technology topics.